Gosh dang it. Alright, well there goes that. Hello and welcome. This game took a while to load. It's probably very laggy. Uh, this game, it's apparently a game by Suits and Nukes. I'm assuming that's some sort of company, but I found this by looking through David Mills' um, game collection stuff. Anyways, yeah. So, yeah. One day, a group of penguins were enjoying themselves in the icy tundra. The penguins like to swim and play and generally do whatever it is most penguins do. There was one particular penguin, however, who was different than the rest. Different who? And he also was the littlest penguin. Alright. He was much more interested in going on adventures, and he felt that today could possibly be his best adventure yet. Oh, 
victory. All right. We're on the path to victory. All magically slide on the ice. Well, I'm glad this is happening. Nice. What is this? I've I've been scammed and now I'm just complaining. Of course, when I'm finally having fun with these games, this is a session, Ozzy's complaining. Uh, and yeah, that's what I mean by that. I mean every other game I've played uh, today have been terrible. Terrible experience. One of them even just straight up deleted the footage. But another one, I. Yeah, I just couldn't get anything. Anything much. I managed to save one dino from the other game, though. That's about it. Just then, he discovered a very old, very sick oh. penguin lying next on a large stone. Won't you please help me? cried out the old penguin. I am very sick and I am very old. Please, won't you help fulfill an old penguin's request? The littlest penguin agreed and was horrified by what the old penguin said next. Bash my head in with this stone, and my pain, littlest penguin. The littlest penguin did as he was told. Something began to stir inside the littlest penguin after that. Suddenly, a rush of emotions he had never known filled him, thrilled him like nothing had ever done before. This feels like heaven, cried out the littlest penguin, who set out freshly driven, given new direction to his adventure. If killing just one penguin felt that good, he thought to himself, I wonder how it would be if I killed ten penguins. And off he went to test his theory. a small group of his peers. This will do, he thought to himself, picking up a club that had been lying in the snow.
Hold on. Oh, oh, oh. Alright. The litless penguin came upon a small group of his peers. This will do, he thought to himself, picking up a club that had been lying in the snow. And the first one went down quickly, far easier than the littlest penguin would have thought. This spooked the others, but to his surprise, the littlest penguin found the more they greater his satisfaction when he finally beat them down, and beat them down he did, until the last of them were reduced to little more than a red stain in the snow. There's nowhere to run. It's also crazy that they're running right towards me. of his targets, the littlest penguin felt the integrity of the club finally surrender to the force of his attacks. The club fell in pieces to the ground, no longer capable of serving its purpose. No matter, thought the littlest penguin, surely I will find a replacement weapon somewhere. As he moved through the crowd in order to reach the other side, the littlest penguin felt the eyes upon him. The other penguins began to grow weary of him, shifting their gaze as he walked by. I do not like the way they stare at me, thought the littlest penguin. I do not like it one bit. Perhaps, after I kill them all, I shall make a fine necklace of their eyes. This thought occupied the littlest penguin as the others wobbled nervously around him. And perhaps, a crown made from their beaks, so all can see and marvel at how beautiful I am.
Okay. <laughs> oh, because if I fall damage. Oh, I see the visible walls from the beginning of the game was to slow me down and waste my time. I see. Arctic Research Center Outpost. Well, research is. This was more like it. The Limbus Penguin. He could now return to the other penguins. Again he would slash at them and again they would cry out. Some would vainly cram their entrails back inside. It fell apart. The Midless Penguin was thrilled. Oh, how he wished this moment could last forever. The scream, the panic, the rapture that pulsed inside him. He could no sooner explain the magic of anymore. To stop it. not until every last had been split apart.
When the last of them had finally stopped twitching and he no longer felt the eyes upon him, the littlest penguin stopped. Breathing heavily, he surveyed the destruction he had wrought. They were all so beautiful now. Too beautiful, what the in fuck fact. Is wrong with you? The ecstasy felt by the littlest penguin slowly faded, and an undeniable sense of emptiness began to take its place. It's not fair. They are all so beautiful now. Why can't I be beautiful like them? Why must I be the only one? It isn't fair. It just isn't fair. The littlest penguin looked at the chainsaw. The blood dripped off the teeth of the blade, almost glistening in the moonlight. Suddenly, the littlest penguin knew how to feel beautiful like the rest. He knew then what it was he must do. When tales are told of the littlest penguin, it is rarely known, and even more scarcely spoken of, what happened after that fateful night. For after it fell upon the littlest penguin to take his own life, it found that he was enveloped in a most suffocating darkness. Eventually, this darkness lifted, and the littlest penguin found himself in a surrounding reminiscent of his darkest nightmares. Gone were the familiar expansions of snow and ice, the blue, sunlit skies overhead now gave way to an unending darkness that seemed to devour the landscape around him. He could hear the tortured cries of the damned, the waters below seemed to have been so saturated with blood that one could surmise it was hardly water at all. The air was thick and humid, and the temperatures boiled to an unfathomable degree of heat. It was here, in this dimension of pain and torment, that the littlest penguin found he had finally felt its peace. This guy is twisted. What a penguin, but... Approaching the pentagram, the souls of his victims circled a rising throne, which seemed to materialize from the coarse and abrasive stone at his feet. The littlest penguin took his rightful place upon it. You don't want to be like this. This is disgusting. This is awful in every way. If I could kill it, I would. But I legally can't. From that moment on, Whenever darkness crept into the hearts of men, or misery spawned from the action of the crazed or maniacal, it did so under the watchful eye of the penguin who had committed that legendary genocide. He had slaughtered, dominated, and annihilated all there was to conquer, and for his efforts, he would reign supreme as the Lord of Chaos in the Underworld. Upon his throne, some still say, the littlest penguin eternally waits, unquestioned ruler of his dominion, to exact pain and torment upon all who cross his path.
Got it. Also, yeah, realistically, uh, um, the penguin would ra would actually be tortured to death to other religious views. All of his victims would be in heaven, and that penguin would die and torment. Well, be tormented. And other views, all of them are being tormented, I guess. Eh. And then in another one, they just don't exist anymore. Alright, bye and have fun time, I guess. Uh